We'll see no more nightmares in that mirror. Good evening, my prince. I trust you sleep well. Wanted to give her a good whack. of the House of War, my house. You may break one, but you cannot break them all.
I've spotted something. Hmm. The destination pyramid doesn't answer the call. Is something blocking it?
Ramos even haunts my nightmares, it seems. Unless the nightmare is his. The lizard slumbers deeply. You feel vast tracts of land unspool from within the lizard's mind. Your homeland, your birthright. The soil is scored with masses of footprints from the passage of huge armies. The lizard is enveloped in a deep, unresponsive slumber. Flames belch forth from the dreamer's mind. The fires of battle, the heat of the desert sun, the vast funeral pyres for countless numbers of your slain kin. Though standing, the lizard is in a deep sleep. A great surge of water engulfs you. It spreads and soaks the land. Not water after all, but blood. The blood of armies, the blood of your kin. The earth grows red and sodden. The lizard sways slightly on his feet, locked in a deep slumber. The thick air of battle wafts outwards from your kin's mind. The echoing war cries, the stench of the dead, the ringing of steel, and the faint scent of spices from your home. Red Prince, spouse of the sun, Anan Nechet. I was keeping the portal at the consulate open for you, but... but... Suffice it to say, there were... obstacles. The House of Shadows, agents of the God King. I had to keep the princess safe and trust that you would be able to follow us. And you have. Wondrous. I shan't keep you a moment longer, not while the Red Princess awaits you. Go. Cross the threshold. Pass through the iron door behind me. He reaches out and hands you something small and shiny. A key. The Void Woken came and killed all within reach. The fires consumed the rest. It was pointless to try and face them in the waking world, so I brought the Princess here for safety. Not memories, no. This is the war that looms in the Empire's future, dear Prince. A war against those who scorn our way of life. A war for which we will need strong leadership. Further protection for the Princess. The arena was fashioned after one in our homeland, but the opponents you faced were conjured up by your unconscious mind, Your Highness. I do not know it. I dream it. There will come a time when those who despise our customs will rise up and make war, Prince. In my dreams, I see the battles. I smell the blood of our fallen. Because it will be a turning point in the history of our people. But its outcome is not yet set in stone, dear Prince. Our empire can weather all storms with the right guiding hand. Horror sleep, of course. I had to find a way to protect the princess from the Void Woken attack in the waking world. You humble me, O oh father of dragons. May you and Sadha forever be united. Good find. Why would you cause such a one to wait? You must go to her. Not memories, no. You humble me, oh may you and Sadha. Why would you cause such a one to wait? The Void Woken came and I answered to the princess. Go and see her. After, I will do as she bids me to. You humble me. May you and...
This feels like home. An oasis of horror in a desert of, well, also of horror. your every step toward me, my heart beats more happily. Come and look at the fruit of our union. A dragon is yet unhatched, and there are more eggs lying upon velvet cushions in my tent. Dragons to be, yet all too vulnerable as they lie dormant in their shells. What is yet unborn will one day spawn an empire. We must protect them, my love. Yes, the God King. It seems inconceivable to me now. But in my blackest hour, I turned to him for guidance. You must know, my prince, I was desperate. The House of Shadows closed in around me, determined to kill me before I could become the mother of dragons. Then there was a voice. Promises of protection and power in kingdom come. I became sworn to the God King. But when I saw his followers, the vilest creatures one could conceive, I realized how poisoned his gifts would be. I did the only thing I could do. I appealed to our old champions of the House of Dreams and fled here into a world untouchable by our foes. Even here, I hear his voice in dream. No matter which plane one could escape to, he is never far behind. But I cannot stay here forever. Our children must return to Rivalon and fulfill their destinies. However, as long as I am sworn, as long as the God King lives, this is impossible. The burden falls on you, my love. Only you can save us. Her actions led to the deaths of countless lizards. We can't let her go unpunished. Her intentions are honorable, and that's good enough for me. We should assure her safety. She made her choice the second she swore herself to the God King. Strike her down! A sworn breaker! My prince, you never cease to amaze! As Satta takes the scythe, a black tendril becomes visible, rising from her heart into infinity. With a decisive cut, she slices it through. A hiss, and it evaporates. She's free. She's sworn no longer. The curse has lifted. The dread voice of the king is gone. She embraces you passionately. You have set me free! I know. I know what lies ahead. You must defeat the God King and become the new divine. My prince, your children will help you. Here, 
Take one of the eggs and engulf it with fire. Do so, and your child will be born, ready even now to fight by your side. With a single breath, you'll usher in a new age, a new creed before which all must bow, a dawn of flame. Now go, and take this ring with you. It is the ancient circle of suns. By this ring, I make thee one with fire. And one day, by this ring, I'll be wed. One more battle, my prince. Then we will return to our empire as king and queen. Our children will flourish, and the world will be theirs. I abide. While the God King lives, this place is my only refuge. My flames must stay contained. You may not. Each portal is an opportunity for the Black Ring to infiltrate my sanctuary. Once you depart, the entrance will close, as much as it pains me. The Empire's future must be assured. Our marriage will unite the Houses of War and Law into the House of Dragons. That is how it will be. The prophecy will be complete. One last embrace, lips hot upon lips. Yonder portal will take you back to Rivalon, where the God King awaits. Good luck, my prince. I love you. Kindle the flames. Catch my dragon. Kindle the flames. Catch my dragon. The egg is ready. Douse it in fire and birth a dragon. cracks open. A small dragon's head becomes visible. It looks at the world around it and roars, flame bursting from its mouth. Though but moments born, you can already feel the terrible power of this creature. Look at it. 
Isn't it magnificent? A tiny titan, ready to burst forth with unstoppable force. The dragon hears its mother's voice and roars again. Spreading its wings, all of the shell gives way. It has happened. For the first time in millennia, a great red dragon is born. You approach the dragon and take it in your arms. Yes. Go with your father, my darling. Make me proud. The dragon nuzzles you with its snout, happy in its father's arms. A bright red flame surrounds you both, but does no harm. It is the magic that binds you to the dragon. Your soul has bonded with your child's, my love. Call for it, and it will join you in battle. Off the dragon soars, ready to heed your call. After all this time, the prophecy has come to pass. I am the father of dragons. How glorious, my child. May our child reduce our foes to ashes. I can see the consulate on the other side. We're almost out. The consulate garden is easily glimpsed from your side of the portal. Instinct tells you that once you enter, you will not be coming back.
The consulate garden. Well, that was fun. But alas, all good things come to their end. Time to get out of here. You were in there for a while. If you saw anything interesting, my colleague will want to know. I didn't think it would be possible to make it into the consulate, but you've proven me wrong. He looks at you in surprise, passing his eyes quickly over you. Void reverence, my gods, and I thought I'd seen it all. He stands back from you slightly, but opens his pack and rummages around inside. You, uh, you'll put this to good use, I think. Thank you for your help. True. I'm sorry we had to rely on an outsider, but I'm grateful for your help. I just want to get back to the Empire. That makes two of us. We have hope, my prince. The divine will we'll wait answer. until the House of Wars hears about this. Thank you, stranger. Maybe now some of the consulate can still be salvaged. Here, a token for your efforts. Weak faith enables tragedies such as these. Positively haunting me with your presence of late. Something I can help you with? Held captive? By Kem? Are you certain? Then I was right to sequester myself here with my puppets. Trusting people is a folly. But it seems that you are to enter the Tomb of the Divine. And I am to help you get there. So be it. In order to pass the first chamber, you'll need an amulet that's charged with source. Five souls worth, to be precise. Here, take this amulet 
and fill it with sauce. When you've done that, return to me and I'll tell you what must be done next. You must wear the amulet as you consume sauce. The excess power will be siphoned into it until it is full. Good luck. You may need it. Look at you. Beautiful. Inside and out. Every fine trinket here catches your eye. The joy of them dances within you. This is where you belong. The craft, the detail. You could spend the rest of your life here. Then your longing is crushed underfoot. In its wake, ashes fall from the ceiling. Oppressive heat presses in as a low growl rumbles against your ear. The fire around you intensifies. The ash is a choking cloud, yet it is only an illusion and one you resolutely ignore. The pressure in your skull is like a white-hot spike driving deep. It weakens, starting to fade, and you hear a roar of protest. The ash vanishes, along with the oppressive heat. The workshop is just as it was, save for a chilly presence nearby. A woman's spirit stands before you in fine robes. Her hands grasp at something that's no longer there. She seems to know you're staring at her, but resists looking at you as long as she can before relenting with a sigh. <sighs> yes, I am craft mistress Pia Graciela. Your interest can wait. There is work to be done. Excuse me! Why am I being spoken of in the past tense? That, that is an insult! The dreamer watches you, serenity draped around her like a cloak. May I be of assistance? You must truly savor my company, God. Oh. Mm. I'm growing soft, aren't I? Growing soft, aren't I? <coughs> These God Woken are going to be the death of me. Godwoken are going to be the death of me. Like to take a look at what I've been working by all means.
The dreamer watches you, serenity draped around her like a cloak. May I be of assistance? The dreamer watches you, serenity draped around her like a cloak. May I be of assistance? You must be sure. The devourer rules his dream, and will trap us there until he is defeated. Do not listen to her! She is a coward and a traitor, turning you away from your true path. The fanatic seeks only to corrupt you. Were it not for his wicked devotion, the Devourer's power would never have spread. I will open the passage to the Dragon's Dream. But the fight is yours to win. Have no fear. I will shepherd us all to the Dream, so you do not face the beast alone. Does that mean this nightmare will end? Rufus, we might be free! Aye. I heard her. And I second the Dreamer. We'll be right with you to take down that dragon. Quiet. Quiet! I wish to hear that voice again. The dreamer's chant lulls you into a calm haze as the world fades into the Hall of Echoes. The Hall of Echoes manifests as a crude stone arena. With an impact like an earthquake, the Devourer descends. The dragon's bulky skull has empty eye sockets, but you can still feel the weight of the Devourer's gaze trying to force you to kneel. What shape do your ambitions take now? Have you come to claim the true power of the armor, my pristine essence? Every spirit bound to the armor appears, the dreamer first among them. She turns to you, alert and aglow. This is your chance to free us. Do not bow to the great deceiver. What a magnificent creature! To bathe in your splendor inspires me. If only the Empress was here. The Devourer's presence honors us. I humbly walk in your shadow, mighty dragon. The dragon snarls at the interruption. His claws swipe through stone like it's parchment. No. She told me this day would come, but I prayed that it wouldn't. I... He's been sleeping here for centuries, hasn't he? This is what the Empress really wanted to dig up. Will you sacrifice the power you deserve to save these fractured spirits? <laughs> they are mere fuel. Devour them and ascend. The hollows of the Devourer's eyes glow. It's a starving, scouring light pulling you in and refusing to let go. Once, you had no match in Rivalon's skies. You ruled over your lessers until age ravaged you into obscurity. Your bones were lost for eons. Then, mortal miners unearthed you, and a mad artisan forged your remains into armor. The armor anchored your spirit. You channeled your power into the Lizard Empress, but she was cut down. Now you need a new champion, one that will set the world ablaze. The ethereal world around you trembles as the Devourer roars. He stares down at you with searing, seething hatred. Do you hear the beauty of the dragon's song? This is the majesty my Empress held in her heart. 
You would waste my gift? I will rip you asunder, then strip my armor from your undeserving corpse. You will bow to me. Every vision that ensnared you, let my claws sink deep into your soul. To betray me shall cost you everything. I will serve you, my master. All those who blaspheme shall be punished by my hand. The beast makes threats because he fears the end to come. You have chosen the brighter path. The dreamer chants in a swift, ancient cadence. Ethereal shackles burst from the void around you, seizing the devourer. You ain't getting out of these, beastie! Come on now, friend. Strike that pile of bones down. <laughs>